Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaunt. And Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. Now they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them in practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over, me, teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Well, a nice throw here, right side. He holds it in. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe in the line. Good job, Good job, Dave. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And here are the starters for Philadelphia. And I think we'll see a renewed sense of urgency out of this team this week because they have to make sure they don't waste this home stand. They had a home game last week, lost it. Now they've got the second straight. They've got to take advantage of it, get a win before they head out. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time, and it's third and five. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. Against the pass, they're hoping to trend in the opposite direction because right now they're ranked number 26 in the NFL. They're in the bottom 10 in the league. I mean, when you look at their talent, you would think that they'd be much better. Overall, I don't think there's any question you'd have to say that they've underachieved. <laughs> The draw here's Sanders, and that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That's uh, tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Let's go, got to find Let's go. Go to something a little more advantageous. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss. 
okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that will help my team. They go play action here on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A good pickup there, 26 yards. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner with good timing. He did a completion, as we just saw there. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. The first carry now, this is Johnson. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. For Johnson, the numbers for his performance from last week, 17 carries, 81 yards. In a perfect world, they'd run the ball the same way they did last week, but against the number one rush defense in the league, they're going to have to find a different way to move the ball. Maybe they start throwing it early and come back to the run. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. I'm coming! I'm Check 52. <laughs> Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness? that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Don't get nervous. Now Stanford. Screen play, Johnson. Fighting through, and he's got space. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they're so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. First down as so get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, 
but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. This is fielded at the track of the tail. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, here at go. the 30-yard line. Here we go. At the line this Philly offense up. set to go and hoping to do better than they did in their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Second and 14. Well, that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw here. Good one over the hole of the end. And he's got the first down yards before being taken down at midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. First and ten, it's Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that block. And now we'll hook up downfield on second down. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. Forced out to his and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. You see me? You see me? They can't stop me out. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. No doubt, they have a ton of pride. And they go into every job trying to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long to way to go on third down. He'll drop the throw. Dancing to his left. He may try to... And it's a fumble. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to crown him down near the 11th. Turned it over four times last week, so another one here in the first quarter. This isn't the way they want to go. No, not even close, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice, we're talking about what they need to get done, we're working on it, showing them how to take care of the football, and emphasizing what it means in terms of winning. They are, they got to just be puzzled right now that they're not taking care of the ball better. for the incompletion on first down. You <laughs> Throwing again. Stafford. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. How did he do that? How did he do it? I mean, in this type of way, it's not just catching it. It's seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why he ended up having to go one-handed, but boy, what a catch. That was a spectacular one-handed grab. And the man has got it a complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. But we know so often how tackling has become almost a lost in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. So they recovered the photo that ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. And they got seven in for three. Go, 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 let's go. Let's go. Philadelphia. 
Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to the basketball, right? Find the matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a four or two. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third and down. Looking to throw. No open, it's Goodwin. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. 6-0 our score after one. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. In on the tackle, Jalen Reeves made it. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means so what in halftime? Adjustments, adjustments, time, right? Figure out what they are, figure out the things that they really want to accomplish, and who to run behind. Make sure you're better blockers, find those guys, and get in that direction. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's third down. They'll look to throw. He has been very good about checking that now. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they're throwing it to him? Yes, he caught every other ball. See if they can build on that stop. That's taken on the 25. And just a 30 yard punt that time. And the Lions will take over. So here are the Lions to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Stafford now to throw. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Back to back. Good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down line. It's Johnson, and the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I mean, what did you say? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces forward down. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. And yeah, they'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. On first down, it's Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The ice, a four-yard loss, really sets him back now for second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job. They're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. And it's going to be another it. first down as they get him to the ground at the Lions 43. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, fourth coming. Four yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Wentz on the boat leg. And this one incomplete. Like too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remember an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way really easier said than done. Such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play. It's going to lead to first and goal. On the goal, it's Wentz. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an intercept. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. Let's go. So it's a preach. Let's go. It's coach. It's thought about. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception, they finished off the drive. That does them no good to go back to the line. They get them going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. It's an Eagles first down on a game of 11. It's a scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second and 11 now. Wentz, buying time to his left. He'll run it. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get it to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear, and then they're going to get a positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. We're going to turn that into a positive game. And he will have the first down. 
Touchdown Go. as he's brought down up near midfield. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And two minutes remaining in this first half for football. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Throwing his hands. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And this is, oh my goodness, he put it in one-handed. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, his fourth touchdown on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And we've got a tie game here in the back and forth first half. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it out past the 35. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. <laughs> Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. He finds his man, Johnson. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now it's Stafford. He completes it to Jones. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, it's Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. To the air again, Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Stafford now. 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Now on the 30 as they come up second and 10. To throw again. Stafford. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And it's third down. Here comes the seventh play now on this drive as this is third and ten. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. And that is incomplete. because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary here. I mean, 
what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. Normally you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down the defense. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And they'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Let's go, man. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. And so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Let's go, D. Big series right here. Throwing on second and eight. Wentz. That's complete to a speedy wide on Goodwin. It's a game of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. They like going to him in the slot. It catches him up. And this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great looking relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop him with 16 seconds to go in half number one. down pass play, second and three. Here's Wentz to throw. Deep ball for Goodwin. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Wins to throw again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They can't and they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. A final shot before half for wins. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. That's caught inside the twenty. Pass interference, defense. So the contact came before the ball first got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? It is so hard to tell with these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And it's the Bengals who are out in front as those two head towards the break. Tyler Boyd, a touchdown reception. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting L.A. Rams as that one's gone to half time. Two touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins there. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Deontay Johnson, a touchdown catch in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected. All tied for one half a play. The call of the second half. Let's get it back to Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter Let's number go, three. Let's go. 
the Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed yes, up. Lady. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and ten at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now, Let's after the go. completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Kill, kill, kill. Johnson on a counter. Jatavis Brown there on the tackle. Tough first tackle, I'm unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The run game four, now they deal with a second and six. Throwing to Stafford. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. They all came together there in breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from Philadelphia territory now, has a first and 10 at the 36. Off of play action, here's Stafford. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. He took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And that's why he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Throwing deep for Galladay. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this won't get the right here. It's no good. Off to the right. We will remain tied here in this third quarter. Now this was a clear day in September. I'd say this is well within his range. I feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Here we go, here we go. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Go, now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get them back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this time. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. 
The reception good for seven. It's third down. To number 18. It's a gain of seven. Makes it third and four. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Let's go. Shotgun now for Lance. And Jeffrey's got it. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Well, run, it's Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running Lens read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Come on, give me the clock. Another run with Sanders. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards there and an eagle Play. first down. Go. First downs have not come easy and neither of runs like this to this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sign of relief. We got something going in the running game. They'll roll him out right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw, it's Wins. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. This will be play number seven on the drive. Throw the yard. And they go with a tight end kick. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas got her. His first touchdown of the year. And his guys are able to regain the lead. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out on the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they tell the offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer this time? Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for them. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Stanford. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nikel Roby Coleman there defensively. They had the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Stafford. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Stafford down. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. At the East They go to Johnson again. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Seven yards there on the first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Play action. Stafford. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. There's so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading the keys, you always hear about that. And having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? 
That sprang the big guy, didn't it? And they'll dump it over the top to him. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They really need to step on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Again, it's Johnson. Try to run inside, but nothing there. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but half on the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Back to throw, Stafford. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exaltation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's not hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of the baseball season? Oh boy, four in the game. Yeah, about the four in the game. Four times 162 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up. Get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. Throwing on second and three. Wentz firing quickly here, and that's complete. No game that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now wins. This is caught by Jackson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Wins now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. Now wins. is the pickup, good for an eagle first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here I come. second and nine. Wentz, and this is incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. If they want to first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Working from the gun, Lance. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful when you're losing play against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing on second 14. Wentz. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39 yard line. Romeo Aquara showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. 
Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. He went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Wentz going to go on fourth down. Has going to let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Marquise Goodwin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? And I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it, having that type of space and audacity, but defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. What a always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Pretty long drive that time. Kevin plays all team. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Gets past one man. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal, and they're doing it makes it that much harder. But more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chance. We'll see if they can get the score. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. One play Ready. has him to the 37 Check here for first and 10. You won't see me in your nightmare, son. You won't see me in your The shotgun snap for Stanford. Open man is Galladay complete. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay, his fourth touchdown of the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, with the run that they've been on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. They've got to be careful. Not much space from their back to the wall there. So you're exactly right. They've got to be careful here. But this is where the value of no taking and recall comes into play. What was working earlier? Why was it working? Can you get those types of matchups again? And can you run those plays that get you a little bit more breathing room and a little bit of space? What's now to throw? And that'll be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. That'll bring up second down. 
Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Uh, find it, find it. Ten yards there, and then he go first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely leave things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's once. Catch is made by Osega Whiteside. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the third. It's a game of 13 in the first down for Philadelphia. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Or a run with Sanders. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they'll set up with a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now a play fair. Wentz. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up. Boy, did they ever, because they've shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You die for the running play, and they hit him over the top. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, this is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either... And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Romeo Aquara showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal. Wentz going to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Elliott on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. The result. Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. They're going to win a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's on it. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Underneath for Johnson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. We see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And then he's uncovered. So a man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of the old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Fame at one corner and a defensive player of the year. And a pressure to Brown, and he goes down once more. Jannard Avery providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. And we say it all the time, half 
to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect hey, you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up the sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And he'll find Galladay that's complete. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing it in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. The stop to get it done as you noted, and they did. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Stafford. Screen play. Johnson. And some space here. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Stafford on first down. And he's got Amendola on the connection. Oh, yeah. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there and a line Who's first me? down. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now throwing the ball on this drive. Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after a little time to talk it over. Looking to throw on second down. Stafford catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That went good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and ten. Faking the give to Johnson, now it's Stafford. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Sanders to begin the drive. 
And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. That's it, baby. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> but another run here with Sanders. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. they mark him down at the 30. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And the Lions quickly now are going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any chance you're throwing? Well, I don't think so. I think you have to keep the ball here. And they, in fact, will throw it. And that will be incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up the fourth down decision. A punt of 46, a return of five. And possession will switch hands first and ten. So Matthew Stafford in the offense. Down by a field goal, a little over a minute to go. They're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and ten. But the he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He's back to throw. This is a hustle emergency coming to play. I think you got to get up there and spike it. Let's go, let's go. 25 yards that time. Trying to hurry to the line at a very outskirts of field goal range. Dumping it off for Johnson. And brought down, but not before inside the 25. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, Charles, a game and a decision that people may be talking about tomorrow for sure. Had a chance at a long field goal there at the end to try and tie it. They elect to not kick it, and they lose the game. And I think what we'd all love to see is that little slip of paper that the special teams coach handed to head coach before the game that said, this is where our kicker is good from today. This is where he feels confident because that might be the absolute mark that tells us, okay, Maybe we have to run more offense because maybe he doesn't feel good about kicking it from this distance.